The structure of data carried over an IP network is in the form of packets or IP packets. The proper name for them are datagrams and they travel over a network which is considered unreliable. At the IP level there is no guarantee that data sent will be received. So if we look inside one of these data cables we would see the actual packets in the forms of ones and zeros traveling along the wire just like this. And if we were to stop one of these IP packets and look inside it we would find the components that make up the packet. The two main parts are the IP header and then the TCP segment. The IP header consists of controls and flags as well as the source and destination IP addresses while the TCP segment consists of the actual data along with other information which will be explained later. So let's take a look at the controls and flags contained within the IP header. There are two types of IP packets and addressing. IP version 4 which is being described here and IP version 6 which is a new version that is beginning to be deployed now. In the first four bits of the IP header, either a 4 or a 6 is coded to show which one is in use. In this case, it's a 4. The next four bits describe the length of the IP header in 32-bit words. The entire header is made up of a minimum of five 32-bit words. When the length of the header is known, you know where the beginning of the payload is. Diff serve or differentiated services code point is how IP packets are differentiated into classes. And this governs how the network handles them. Using classes, networks speed up traffic, allowing time-sensitive packets to arrive on time and delaying other non-time-sensitive packets. ENC, or Explicit Congestion Notification, is a method used by some networks to inform the transmitting devices about the existence of congestion on the network. These two bits act as flags to indicate the presence of congestion. Total length refers to the length of the entire packet or datagram. Again, this is in the form of 32-bit words with a minimum of 20 and a maximum of 65,535 words. The next 16 bits are used to identify the parts or fragments of an IP packet that has been broken up in order to pass through a particular network. These three bits are used to indicate one don't fragment this packet or two there are more fragments following this one. Again packets are sometimes broken up when they are too long to pass easily through a network. When an IP packet is fragmented the next 13 bits indicate the distance in 8-bit words this packet is offset from the beginning of the original unfragmented packet. In order to prevent packets from cycling around a network without ever arriving at their destination, each packet is given an amount of time to live. It's really a countdown 
as devices the packet passes through subtract from the initial value. When zero is reached, if it hasn't gotten to its destination, it's eliminated. The protocol 8 bits are used to identify the protocol that is used with the payload of this packet. The most usual values are 6 for TCP or 17 for UDP. These 16 bits are the checksum for the header. All the 16-bit words that make up the header are summed together and compared to this checksum value in an exclusive OR operation that results must be zero. This allows for the detection of errors, but not their correction. The source IP address, as the name implies, is the IP address for the origination device of this IP packet. This is in the form of IP version 4 addresses, which take up 32 bits. And of course, the destination IP address is the destination for this IP packet. Again, it's in the form of IP4 addressing, which supplies 4.3 billion addresses. The TCP segment will be handled in part two of this tutorial.